A name defines a company. It has to be something primal. Something that you can scream out during intercourse. Like aviato. HBO's new series, Silicon Valley, is lifting the curtain on nerd culture. Uber. Google. Actor Thomas Middleditch, who plays a struggling tech entrepreneur, reluctantly admitted his past prepped him for the role. Have you always been a nerd? Oh, uh, does it show? <laughs> yeah. See, <laughs> I wish I could have done that, but my hands can't even squish that bottle. <laughs> oh, these nerd claws. At the heart of the series, Mike Judge, known for creating shows like Beavis and Butthead in the movie Office Space. Well, well. But before all that, Judge worked in Silicon Valley. I used to be an engineer, and I know this, these types of people more. These types of people are now the new rock stars, and Hollywood's taken notice. You have very introverted programmer types. Just seeing what somebody with billions of dollars and nobody around to tell them, no, don't do that. I met the show's creators last September at a conference where tech entrepreneurs go to get discovered and launch their startups. When I saw you guys, you were at TechCrunch Disrupt last September, kind of doing research for this. But yeah, we went to parties. We went. We also, you know, we visited with incubators and startups. We enter Pied Piper and TechCrunch Disrupt. I know a lot of big players have come out of it. Dropbox, Yammer, what have you. We were just saying WhatsApp is worth more than Campbell's Soup or Xerox, which, <laughs> You know, you make soup for more than a hundred years. You do it better than anyone, and you're worth less than somebody that came along three years ago. That's crazy. Our programmers and coders are these the new heroes? I don't feel like the Carnegies and the you know the rail barons and the emperors of generations past were as cerebral. You know, and I feel like we're living in this, and we say as much on the show. We're living in an era where you know nerds are king. There's something so funny and interesting in Silicon Valley about just kind of having to fake it till you make it. I mean, is this kind of thing universal? Definitely in Hollywood. Just in general, yeah, I think there's a lot. Any place where it's really difficult to make any sort of headway, yeah, you got to kind of have the right combination of being able to falsify confidence like myself and have real true talent like Thomas. Um. <laughs>